core value that I'm reflecting on is that uh, we engage people wherever they are in their spiritual life. As part of the process for the ministry in a changing world activities, uh, participants shared stories about their experience at Bryn Mawr Presbyterian Church. For me, I remember coming to Bryn Mawr Presbyterian for the first time, listening to some amazing sermons from Jack Ackerman's Best of the John Ackerman series. I would ride my bike to church, and being an introverted heart, I would sneak in the back and come in as quietly and depart as quietly as I could. But yet I still felt people reaching out to me, but at the same time just letting me be me. Whether it's Bible studies led by Heidi Gardeman, baby showers, Sunday school, or the love and support I felt after I divorced, I feel that this community has always accepted me for who I am and met me where I am in my faith journey. It was absolutely wonderful and very moving to hear other stories from participants at the transforming uh, process. There were others who had never gone to church growing up or participated in different faith traditions that also felt welcomed and nurtured here. Hearing these stories was one of the things that led our group to identify the core value for our church. We engage people wherever they are in their spiritual life. Just because we heard lots of positives and identified this as a core value doesn't mean our church has everything figured out at meeting people where they are in their spiritual life. We just identified this goal as a very important value for our church. Some of the weaknesses and opportunities identified for our church, including youth ministry, not enough small group activities, and limited technology use, are related to not, people, not meeting people where they are. I saw also couldn't help but wonder about all the people that were not at the table that day of the retreat telling their stories. I wonder about all the people I see at the Christmas Eve service that I don't see throughout the year. Are we meeting them where they are at? I wonder about the people in our local Bryn Mawr community that never come to church. Are we meeting them where they are? I wonder about the mothers and kids at St. Anne's Place. Are we meeting them where they are? These thoughts led me to consider a phrase that the late Bob Belke shared with me. Christianity comforts the conflicted and conflicts the comfortable. <laughs> Clearly our faith community still has more we can do as we engage people wherever they are in their spiritual life. These weaknesses and opportunities led the group at the retreat with the rest of the con congregation's feedback to identify the following objectives for transforming our church. The first being to develop an exciting youth ministry, and the second being to welcome and connect everyone in the ministry of the church. I hope and pray that our church can meet these goals so that whether it be my kids, the guy standing at the exit ramp in 394, some other members of the local community, or everyone here today, that we engage each of these individuals, wherever they are in their spiritual life, and have a positive effect on each and every one. May these thoughts turn into actions and be pleasing in God's sight.